The shift to the old academic calendar that kicks off in June and closes in the summer months next year is up for this coming school year 2024 to 2025. And the president made it clear no Saturday classes por favor and no extended calendar days to make up for lost time. Our Kenneth Pashente fills us in with more. Paul admitted it is a challenge for him to focus on study with a baking hot weather that's been on for the last three months. He is also disappointed on the frequent suspension of in-person classes due to a high heat index over the past several weeks. Yung pag-aaral po namin, hindi po na-enhance. Kaya minsan po may mga lessons po kami na hindi po na-aaral dahil po sa class suspension. Paul is just one of the millions of students who want the old school calendar back, something the government has heard repeatedly and knows full well. In the meeting of President Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. with Vice President and Education Secretary Sara Duterte, the president approved the end of the school year 2024 to 2025 to be on April 15, 2025 instead of March 31 next year. This step by the president will pave the way to revive June as school opening for school year 2025 to 2026. According to the chief executive, it is better to adjust the schedule a little so that students will not be in schools every Saturday. Because the president did not agree on a 180-day school calendar given the higher cost entailed students with Saturday classes thrown in. He also did not concur on the proposed 165-day school calendar that could adversely affect the students' learning given lesser days to learn and build social skills with classmates. According to the DepEd, June 16 of next year is the tentative date for the opening of school year 2025 to 2026 and will end on March 31, 2026. Talagang makakabalik na po tayo dun sa normal or original June to March cycle ng ating school calendar. The department also agrees with the president's decision not to have Saturday classes because this is additional work for the teachers and could lead to physical and mental fatigue among students. Pag ginawa natin itong April 15 and then the next school year will, will start June uh, 16, uh, medyo maganda naman po pagdating sa school days. Malapit naman po tayo doon sa prescribed ng ating curriculum specialist ng 180 days. So hindi na po tayo malalayo doon. Moreover, the DEP had said the weather was not the only factor considered in the reinstatement of the old school calendar, pointing out that any schedule has its share of pros and cons. That's why whether it's El Nino or La Nina, the DEPED insists there is an alternative delivery mode that is being implemented in schools. Pinapaigting natin. Nagsisimula na tayo this year, yan yung tinatawag nating school-wide Wi-Fi program. No? So talagang with uh, itong policy natin na alternative delivery modes, although ngayon meron naman tayong modular, meron naman tayong mga assignments and projects na pwedeng pagawa, ideally, syempre, meron din tayong infrastructure for yung ating on, uh, online naman na learning. That is why, kas kakibat nun, talagang we are strengthening that part of uh, our services also. This is a welcome development for teachers like Rodolfo. Meron ng mga bagay na humahad lang sa pagkatuto nila, maaaring kung ano-ano mga mga problema. Eh, dadagdagan pa ng ganitong sitwasyon, kaya uh, mas mabuti na na isa na yun sa mabawas sa kanilang uh, sa mga nakakahad lang sa kanilang pagkatuto. Parents are also delighted about this. Ah, okay lang hindi naman buong buwan may ulan eh. <laughs> hindi kagaya nung pag summer talagang araw-araw mainit. Magpaayong na lang, magbota. O, kaysa naman yung mainit. Mas maganda yung ulan kaysa yung mainit. The DepEd assured it will provide guidance to teachers in relation to the school calendar reversion to ensure the quality of education is maintained even with a reduction in the number of days in the school calendar. The DepEd is now finalizing the department order for the approved academic calendar for schools and teachers' guidance. Kenneth Pasciente from the National TV Network for a new and better Philippines.